I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna show you guys all my antlers from this year's hunts. That's one thing I wanna put on this vlog before I take them to the taxidermist. But while we're here, let's just look at the original Fireball. This is the mount, it stays here at Mountain Ops. I'm sure plenty of you guys know that. Mountain Ops is auctioning a set of replica antlers. It's going up on the Hush Instagram page. It'll be dead by the time I upload this. Auctioning it to raise more money for Shets for Santa. Really cool. Thrill of Sheila's Bull. All the ops. It's holiday season, guys. Hope you guys are having a good one. All right, guys, I made it home. Had a great workout. Ton of fun with those guys. While I'm here, I want to show you all the antlers of the animals I was able to take this year, including some whitetail, elk, my mule deer. Let me show you guys the animals I was able to harvest this year. And actually a bonus rack. If you guys are watching the videos on the Hushin YouTube, you've probably already seen most all of these. Except maybe that one. Actually, you haven't seen a lot of these, so I'm going to show you guys all the animals I was able to harvest this year. Let's take them in order this year. The first animal I was able to harvest was this archery bull right here. Guys, this thing is giant. Let me set this camera up so I can show you guys how big it is. Ooh. All right, guys, this is my archery bull. Look at that sucker. <laughs> we actually hunted this bull last year and uh, finally able to put my tag on him this year. Three of us scored him right under 385 and he's a little bit broken up. So he's broken on his G1 on his left and he's maybe missing, oh, inch, inch and a half on his third there. So if not broke, he'd be a little over 385, but man, this is just a tank, guys. Dream bull with a bow. This is getting mounted for the Hunt Expo. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look before we take them. So that was a crazy, crazy hunt. Hopefully you guys watch the video. Um, but yeah, that's an archery bull. I think he had a 21 inch royal, 15. The bull is just stacked. And then surprisingly, I shot this next bull on my Utah rifle hunt. Now I had no clue that this bull was up there. It's in an area I've hunted a lot, but haven't really spent much time during the rifle hunt. Decided to go up there and I was able to shoot this bull on opening day. So he's got devil's tines on both sides, two on that side, a little blade extra back here, but it's probably not long enough to score. And then this little extra right here. But surprisingly, this bull really started to stack up when I started measuring his fronts. He's bigger than I thought. The bull went 355. I really thought he was probably like 340. But with all the extras, which is about 11, 12 inches, including, you know, the, the devil's tines in this is about 11 inches or so. And then just the length on all these points added up to 355. So a great bull, Utah hunt. This is going live on the Hushin page today, the day I'm filming this. All right, so next up is going to be this guy, Whitetail, Kansas Whitetail. I should probably get this thing down so I can show you guys. Give me a sec. I had that thing on the wall just for fun temporarily, but this is also getting mounted for the expo. Kansas Whitetail. Uh, we were hunting with the guys at Stealth Cam. They invited us out to Kansas to hunt with Heartland Pride Outfitters. This was a guided hunt. It was a private land. I think they had the land leased. And this buck was on their Stealth Camera. They showed me the day we showed up, and I was like, that's the buck. I would love to shoot and guys the thing just had more points than the trail cam captured because you can see a lot of these points from the side are hidden like that you wouldn't see those two we couldn't really see them in the camera and the same for the other side it had more points than we thought but just a dream whitetail buck tons of extra points scored right at 170 and man after hunting the next five six days with bmac and casey that's when it really sunk in how lucky i was able to how lucky I was to be able to not only get an opportunity, but to harvest a mature buck because at that time we were there in late October, the deer were just not coming out in the day. Then we have Colorado. So on the way to Colorado hunt, I noticed some cars had been pulled over. I could tell someone probably hit a deer. They hit this one. I was the lucky guy to find it. I pulled over just to make sure everybody was okay and asked where the deer was and nobody found it. And I could smell that sucker. I'm like, that's a big old buck. Found him in the ditch. State Patrol came by, gave me a salvage tag, and we were actually able to salvage a lot of meat off this guy. It was just a really cool 
tall 4x4. Four four. He had a little point that was busted off right there. Super pretty buck. I was like, I would shoot that deer on the tag that I hunted, and I ended up actually shooting this one. So a really pretty buck. Let me show you guys on the ground. 26 inches wide. Just a very typical, very symmetrical mule deer. I mean, this represents what a mule deer rack should look like to me. That's like your typical mule deer. Super dark antlers. The hunt had its ups and downs. It's going to be on the Hushin channel. You guys need to watch it to kind of see how it ends up. And the next buck I want to show you guys is my coos deer. Look at that cute little guy. My friend Ben Sandal invited me on a coos deer hunt in Arizona. We applied together as a group or whatever, and we both drew. This is the first deer I had ever seen on the hunt. The first coos deer I spotted, which by the way, these guys are small. They're not easy to spot. The first one I spotted is this one. So all it took is one. That's like my favorite line. Uh, this year is all it takes is one. I got myself a nice mature coos deer, and this is also getting mounted. I'm going to take my white tail and my two elk to Monarch Mountain Taxidermy, guys. These are getting mounted, and they'll be at the Hunt Expo, so if you guys are coming, come check them out. Of course, they'll be at the Hush booth. Had to just throw them all together real quick. You know, I was thinking about it, guys. This has been an awesome season of hunting, as you can see. Not only the antlers, I love antlers. I love showing you guys the antlers. There's one more thing you guys gotta see. I have a freezer chuck full of the good stuff. Elk, deer, axis, whitetail, you name it. And I think the last time I picked up my two elk, I picked up two elk on the same day, or two days apart, and I gave an entire elk away. So many people ask me, what, what happens to all the meat? Of course, I eat plenty of it. They're, my dad has a lot, Walker has a bunch. Gave some to Chandler, Jordan, like so many people, Dave. I have got rid of an entire elk because I didn't have anywhere to put it. So not only can I enjoy all this great meat, a bunch of other people can too. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys these since they're all together here. Probably be the last time this happens because they're going to be mounted. So we're at, uh, hey, there's my blender bottle I left here. We're at the warehouse where we ship everything. This is actually where we ship everything for Outfitted as well. So Hushin stuff is here and Outfitted stuff is here. We're gonna take it back to the back and show you. This is where we inventory and ship all the Outfitted stuff. So joggers up here, if they need to ship a medium jogger, just snag it right there. They are packaged, they are labeled, hang tags and everything. So that was, those are all joggers, these are shorts right there. So we got shorts, joggers, tank tops, and long sleeves, and then we have a couple different hats. We're getting low on the hats, so I'm probably going to place another order on hats, but I'm curious, what colorways would you guys like to see in outfitted hats? Right now we just have black and gray pretty much. These guys run us a small run of t-shirts, just like a common t-shirt. We got gray and black. Those are on the website as well, so... Anybody interested in shopping the Outfitted stuff, it's been going really well. So just want to say thanks if any of you guys have shopped. But if you guys want to check out Outfitted, it is just outfitted.com. O-U-T-F-I-T-D.com. And I'll put a link in the description box. But just going to button up a couple things here and then head back. Because guys, I'm flying out soon. New Hush stuff too. Check that out. I have about two hours until my flight departs. So real quickly, I have some packages that were sent to me in the mail that I haven't opened. So I wanna open a few with you guys. Just kinda of see what's in there. I don't know, some of them I don't know what's in there. Some of them I do know. Let's set up a little makeshift tripod and open a couple of these. All right, let's dig into some of these. I got my dirty Havilon knife that cut up a deer last. Let's open this package. Thanks for everything, bro, with some artwork on the back. This is from Bone Tats. It's been months, but Jeff from Bone Tats made my uh, it was a Colorado Mule Deer European mount. He does the engravings in the skulls. I'm sure you guys have seen him. If you haven't, check him out on Instagram under Bone Tats. So when I first did my skull with him and made that video, he said it really helped his business grow and his social media grow. So to say thanks, he uh, hooked it up with some apparel. Bone Tats apparel. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Jeff, for the Bone Tats swag. Chelsea Curtis sent me this. I think... This was from Instagram, from Utah. No way, this is the kind of stuff I love getting. Look at that piece. That's on like a canvas. Her Instagram is at Curtis Country Girl. She left me a message. 
I love watching yours and Hush videos. You guys inspire me so much. I love to hunt and you make me want to hunt even more. Keep posting. Chelsea Curtis, hashtag Hush Life. Guys, there's so much cool little artwork on the back of this. But look how colorful that is. I actually love the, the red, the yellow, and of course black and white. That's really cool. If you haven't noticed, like in my living room, I have a bunch of gifts that people have sent to me over the years. This is going to be another one I can add to the living room. So thank you, Chelsea. I love it. I've been excited to open this, and for some reason I just haven't. Eduardo Garcia has this season company. It's called Montana Mex. You guys might have seen their Instagram too. Montana Mex. This is what you can expect, I guess, if you uh, order off their website. Eric and Bridget, I hope you enjoy these all-natural goodies on your hunting meals, Eduardo. So, Eduardo, thank you. I've been talking to Eduardo back and forth about this stuff for months. This is a sweet and spicy sauce, tomato ketchup, barbecue sauce, and man, I'm excited to try all these blends too. Check it out. Mild chili, organic cinnamon ginger, and a jalapeno blend. Avocado oil. No way. Avocado oil. Great for cooking. Nice little kit, guys. If you need a little gift idea or just want to get some yourself. Montana Mex. Here's something from Son Outdoors. They reached out to me. Son Outdoors is on all social media platforms. They do YouTube videos. Great guys. I see them at like every event. Archery shoots, uh, expos, all the above. They're very involved in the, the local hunting community here in Utah. Eric, hope you enjoy the shirt, man. Thanks for the motivation and always being so positive on social media. It's contagious. Keep the content, stories, videos, and positivity coming. One of these days, we'll have to hit the hills together. You guys can check them out. They're doing apparel, they're doing YouTube videos, and again, another Mule Deer Skull t-shirt. What up? Thank you, guys. Next up, Outdoor Threads Box. Sawyer started this. It's a subscription box. We've actually had Hush shirts in this. You get a monthly box. You got a Whitetail Fit package. Cool. I've been wanting the Whitetail package. Whitetail Fit t-shirt. Whitetail Fit on the back. Joel, great guy. Whitetail Fit. He's on social media, too. I love a clean white shirt, especially in summer. But doesn't it suck that they get dirty so fast? I'm going to take this with me to uh, Florida. Thanks to Outdoor Threads Box, I think Outfitted is eventually going to be in the Outdoor Threads Box. So if you guys want to subscribe, you can go to OutdoorThreadsBox.com. None of this stuff is paid for, so you know. This is just kind of a, a fun unboxing. I thought I'd throw it in the vlog. It's from Hoyt. I'm pretty sure this is a gift box from Hoyt. Check that out. What? It's got a nice little gift box from Hoyt. Super thankful for our partnership with Hoyt. Some rub, some seasoning. A card, I'll check that out. A uh, cooking vest, cool. Thanks to everyone who sent me something. I'm sorry I didn't open this stuff sooner. And last but not least, I have a copy of some artwork of the Fireball from Eduardo Alvarez. I'm gonna check it out. Definitely gonna have to frame this and find a place for it. Wow, that's cool. Dang, the detail on that is sweet. Thanks, man, appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. But now I have to rush, literally rush to get ready to fly out of here and uh, make my way to Florida. What's up, B? Chandler. <laughs> Dude, Eric, you ready to get? <laughs> Mount Knox. Outfit it, oh, son! Yeah. <laughs> Dude, let's do it! Let's do this. Let's do this. Ugh. Welcome to a new video guys. I know it has been forever. I feel like I've completely failed you guys on this channel, but we're gonna change things up. We're gonna start with a new video today. Fire this up. We're at the Mountain Ops office. We're gonna get a workout in because I have not seen these guys for a while. They've actually been out in Florida. Instead of filling you in just all direct while I sit Sit here, I'll fill you guys in throughout the video, but just want to say good morning, all what's fills, up? Get all the fill-ins. And look, these guys are nice enough to rock some outfits. Oh yeah, I gotta rock the outfit. <laughs> Full set on the outfit. It's legs day, we're just getting warmed up, doing some squats. I do want to let you guys know, I, I launched the, the brand Outfitted. It's live, so I'll tell you guys more about that right now. I know we got the music in the background, so we'll get a few clips of this little leg workout. I'll show you guys what's up, then we'll get back to the good stuff. Do you 
Yeah, baby. <laughs> the spikes aren't gonna work themselves. Fuel in. Oh yeah, all about form. Pop the booty, keep the legs intact, separate, pressure on the heels. And drop explode. It and pop it. <laughs> when you get the outfitted pants, not only is it high performance pants with incredible materials, great string, <laughs> it also puts a nice groove together. <laughs> then you do the genie, ready? The genie. This is the genie, ready? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's lunges. We're doing uh, walking lunges right here, guys, with kettlebells. You can use dumbbells or you can even use a barbell. Chest up, chin up, good posture. All the way down, he's going down, I'll come back. Oh yeah. All right guys, we're in the pain cave right now. Here with legendary Eric Chesser. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Feel that tear. See how he's getting low? And keeping those toes. That's what you want to see right there, guys. Let's see what Chandler's doing. Is Chandler still working out or is he texting? Oh, he's not on his phone. Oh, I think he's going to come do some pain cave. Dude, here comes freaking Chandler, dude. Yeah. Welcome to the pain cave, son. Let's do it. We're working on today is leg day. Can I, can, I, can I get some curls in at the same Dude, time? Do it at the same time. How much is that? That's 88 pounds right there, boss. I didn't think I could lift that off the floor. I went to move that. I was like, ah! Dude, you can get that off the floor. Stop it. Ah! <laughs> you guys want to come work out with us? Meet us at the Mountain Ops Gym every day at 7 o'clock on the dot. Just kidding. Sometimes we're here. But we're getting it this morning. I think we had a lot more fun than we did leg workout, but I'll be honest with you, it doesn't take much for my legs to get killed and my you killed it. My legs are gonna be jello tomorrow, so like it it worked. That was plenty for me oh, yeah. between the squats and the lunges. And the kick flips and the Yeah, we did a lot of the indie board or whatever that was. That was dangerous. I'm gonna say bye to these guys. Uh, we're gonna grab some supplements while we're here. But uh, that's it from the Mountain Ops office. Guys, hopefully we'll see this guy in. soon. As always, just remember. Jordivation, here we Some go. Jordivation. Come on, you're on the spot. <laughs> okay, guys, here's here's your Jordivation. As a man thinketh, so is he. So if you think you suck at life, your, your life's probably gonna suck. If you think your life is awesome, it's gonna be awesome. And if you think anything other than what you truly are, you're gonna be whatever you couldn't be. But you could be something if you just think about becoming something great. So there you go. As a man thinketh, so is he. So think positive, think good, go do good, go be good, go love life, go live it. Right? I agree. Right I'll say it. I right believe on. I believe each and every one of us, all of us, every single <clears throat> individual has so much potential. And uh, I think the only way to reach that potential is you have to believe in yourself. And sadly, I think there's a lot of people in this day and age that don't. Yep. They don't ever re reach their full potential because they never chase their dreams or think positive. So yeah, think positive. Reach Dare your full potential. greatly. Dare greatly, boys. <laughs> right now, we're just going to grab some things and then bail out of here. But that was a pretty good workout. Feeling good about these shorts, by the way. Merry Christmas to you, too. Thank you for the ride. Just got to grab a couple bags here. Okay, thanks again. I'm getting really used to Uber rides and airports. It's so funny when I started flying a lot. I was just basically following Casey and BMAC around everywhere because they used to fly a lot more than me. I'm pretty good at it now though. I know how to pack on my way around the airports and all that. Welcome to the danger zone. McDonald's and the entire food court of really bad choices. I'm not being like 100% super strict right now, but I did start eating clean while we were out in Florida. As Bridget is and it's easier just to do it together. But on that topic, we are doing another Mountain Ops 90 day challenge starting January 1st with Hush and Mountain Ops. We're also doing a truck giveaway, but we'll be doing it and you guys can follow along with us and just trying to inspire a bunch of people to get happier and healthier. So hopefully you guys will join us. All right guys, my flight is starting to board and off to Florida, but just want to say thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. I know I completely fell off the planet when it comes to uploading videos on this channel, but I was doing daily videos over on the Hush channel. You guys can go check those out. It's our entire hunting season. Every single day we upload a video over there. But uh, check this out, look how funny. I found a place to be over here alone. 
Some people are always like, dude, it's so cool that you can go around with your camera and just be yourself in front of a big crowd of people. I don't know who ever assumed that, but it is wrong. I'm shy as can be, and I hate packing a camera in public places. I'm just really a shy person. Time to get on the plane, head to Florida, meet up with my girlfriend Bridget. You guys can expect some fishing videos on this channel coming soon, and some Florida daily vlogs, kind of like today. We'll keep them rolling as much as I can. But I appreciate you guys. See you guys in Florida.